We are back guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. A very special episode 19 of A Trip to the Thrift today. We have just ticked over 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel and I am just blown away by the support that I've received for over the last five months since starting this channel. To think that after 147 days, here we are with 1,000 subs is just absolutely mind blowing. Whether you've clicked on a video, whether you've commented, liked, uh, subbed to the channel, I really just can't thank you enough. It means the absolute world to me and I really, really do appreciate your support. To show my level of appreciation, guys, today's video is going to be me giving back and everything that you see in today's trip to the thrift is going to be up for grabs in a prize draw for one lucky viewer. I'm going to tell you a little bit later on in the episode how to go about entering. It's going to be a pretty simple process, but the whole thing today is really just for me to say thank you to you guys and hopefully find some awesome items in the thrift that you can go on to sell yourself and make a few dollars from. So let's get into it. It's nine o'clock. You're going to see a pretty energetic, upbeat guy today because I am on top of the world and like I said, I just can't thank you enough. So let's get into it. Let me hopefully find some awesome items for you today. I'll show you what they are and then I'll show you how to enter a little bit later on. So let's get into it. Not a bad way to kick off the giveaway, guys. I've got a couple of goodies, um, a lot of clothing to be fair. I had a good look around everywhere, as I will do with every op shop we jump into today. But this one was just clothing, and I'm okay with that. We found some really nice billabong shorts here. Um, there's nothing wrong with these, they're almost like new, and I only paid a couple of bucks for them. So, with the zipper front there and a couple of pockets on the back, I think you'll be able to make a couple of dollars from those. Um, the brand unit, I don't come around, uh, I come around it too much, but it does actually go on to sell pretty well. So I've just got a plain unit t-shirt, but with that sort of pattern and design on the front, um, that'll be a good one to sell. The brand Von Zipper, I found a Von Zipper button up shirt with a nice color as well. This one is a size, um, oh, here we go. It's a size oh, extra large. So that one will sell for a good 20 to $25, I would imagine. Von Zipper is a great brand to get your hands on. I always talk about the brand industry and I managed to find the industry shirt as well. This one's just a short sleeve, should go for again, 20 to $25. Nice pattern on it as well. It's in very good condition. There's no marks or anything. And again, it's a size extra large, which I always like to find. Um, a few shorts as well, which came across um, to be pretty good value, I think. The brand Rhythm as well is a good selling brand. So I found some Rhythm uh, boardies. They should go for about 20. Um, what else? Oh, I found some Ralph Lauren uh, shorts here as well. So these were just a very plain uh, blue pair of shorts, but with that brand um, should go on to sell pretty well. These are a size, it's a 34. So you've got a 34 inch waist, 100% cotton uh, prospect shorts. So they should sell pretty well, I would say. Um, no marks or damage on them at all. So that's a good one. I found some Nike uh, skateboard uh, Nike SB uh, shorts as well. These are a very nice make, uh, worth quite a bit, and they are in very good condition as well. So I'd imagine you'd make a few dollars on these. These are a size 32 waist, um, so not too bad for the Nike shorts. Uh, so Nike Ralph Lauren, and another pair of Ralph Lauren uh, jeans or pants. Um, these are a size 31 waist, 30 length, um, but a very plain pair of cream colored 
uh, jeans as well. So Ralph Lauren popping up quite a bit today, which was a really, really good start when you're seeing a heap of Ralph Lauren. Uh, a bit of Nike, a few different surf brands that I do know sell very well. So we've got a number of items of clothing there. Um, not a bad way to kick off the episode. We're gonna go to a few more today. So there's still gonna be quite a few more items uh, to stock into today's giveaway. Um, so let's get on to the second one. Hopefully we can find some more cool stuff. All right, guys, we have arrived at the second thrift store of the day, but I just want to pause for a second and let you know of a bit of an update with regards to the new van that I've bought. If you missed the last couple of episodes, uh, I did talk about the fact that I had just bought a new thrift chariot, a new van, a uh, Hyundai iLoad, and it's really helped me with my furniture flipping. But in the last couple of episodes, I put it out to you guys to find a name for the van. Um, I had a few really, really good suggestions. And I just want to say that we have finally got a name for the van. It is called Houdini. Houdini and a big thank you to uh, Chris Furlong, um, a ripping bloke, um, lucky to connect with him over the last couple of months. He's got a ripping YouTube channel that I'll put the links below in um, for you guys to go and check out. He's uh, a distance runner, uh, just ran a marathon in his own backyard and uh, he's a part-time reseller as well. So uh, for awesome content, go and give uh, Chris a quick subscribe. But he did come up with the name Houdini because items go into the back of this thing and then they disappear. So I thought that was a pretty cool name. Uh, thank you for everything everyone else uh, for your suggestions, but um, I ended up coming up with Houdini as the best one in my opinion. Um, so thanks very much, Chris. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, put that one into the video as well, but like I said, we are here at the second thrift store of the day. So let's get back into it and hopefully we can find some cool stuff. I truly don't know even where to begin in that op shop. That was just an absolute treasure trove. There is so many items here. I've gone ahead and bought an absolute stack and I can't wait to show you. You would have seen quite a few of them there, but the sporting section went off in there. There was that many sporting clothes to pick from. We had the England Rugby Canterbury jersey. Uh, this one's a size large and it's got England written on the back as well. So that's gonna be an absolute fine. Um, I found the Queensland Reds uh, yellow training top as well. This is a size large as well, so it's a good fit. It's got the sponsor branding all over it. So very much an authentic product, this one. So really happy to find the Queensland Reds rugby union shirt. That will sell for a few. Um, guys, in the cycling world, Specialized is one of the great brands. And I have found the Specialized cycling top. Um, now this is very much genuine. Uh, it's got the pockets on the back for the drink holder. And uh, with the red and white coloring, that will get snapped up on eBay very, very quick. The cycling clothing actually goes for quite a bit of money. So I haven't done my comps, but seeing Specialized, knowing it's a very high quality brand, um, the comps on that one will be pretty damn good. Uh, I did find a golf polo shirt in the Nike golf range as well. This one, just a very plain essential, but the Nike polo shirts always sell for quite a few. So happy to get my hands on that one. That was actually in a size 
uh, medium. So I'm trying to buy good sizes today as well for you guys. Um, I found two Gold Coast Suns jerseys as well. I think they are a size um, extra large in the kids range, uh, but that's okay. I'm happy to get that because it is an authentic AFL product. And then this one as well was a number nine on the back for Gary Ablett when he used to run around for the Sunnies. Um, this one's an XL, but like I said, I think that's an XL in the kids range. Um, I need to do my triple checking. Um, so that was sort of everything in the sporting uh, side of things, which was a lot. Um, I also found a couple of really high quality uh, menswear items as well. We found the Chaps uh, polo shirt too. So this Chaps one, incredibly good quality size extra large if you can see there um, super stoked to find that one that one is in immaculate condition and will sell very very well i found my favorite tommy hill figure a uh, couple of tommy polos as well they always are a quick win uh, this tommy was a size medium um, really nice uh, red stripe blue stripe combo there uh, catman do in the hiking gear this is a 76 percent nylon extra large um, hiking shirt so a really good long sleever. Um, anyone in the hiking game will absolutely love to get their hands on that. So Katmandu, probably the most highest quality uh, hiking brand you can come across. So happy to find that. Back onto the Tommy Hilfiger train, another polo as well. We've got this one in a size small, but that's okay because Tommy Hilfiger just sells no matter what size it is. So I had to nick that one. Um, in the show, another one as well for $4. I thought I'd just grab it, Stranger Things. A lot of fans for Stranger Things out there. So I just thought I'd nick that one as well. Might not get a lot for that, maybe 10 to 15, but better than nothing. Uh, and this one as well was a good one to get. This was Vulcan, so a pair of Vulcan shorts. Uh, again, very plain, but that sort of look and feel actually goes to sell on pretty well. So that one's a size 32 waist. Um, awesome little find there in the shorts. Uh, basically a lot of t-shirts um, and polo shirts, but I don't mind that. Um, Canucks as well, the Canucks hat, that's an absolute ripper. That's an official Reebok branded as well. So that's not a fake. Um, you can see there with the Reebok branding that that's very much a genuine product. Uh, it, is a, it is a fitted hat, so it's gonna be for a certain size. Um, so I have to, it does say small, medium. Um, so it's a small, medium Canucks hat but a genuine product. So you will get some dollars for that one. Um, the Canucks in the NHL over in America and Canada. Um, and then these as well, they are kids shoes, but they are very high quality and they do cost uh, quite a bit. The Sorrells, uh, the Sorrells winter boots for the kids. They only cost me $5, but they are just such high quality. You might be able to get about 50 to 60 bucks, I would say for these. Um, I don't even know what the size is. It is a size, yeah, so it's a size US 12 in the kids. So a kid's 12. Um, I thought I'd grab it because it's a good brand and it will sell well. Uh, all right, so that was everything. Oh, I also found a couple of CDs on the ABBA, uh, the Visitors uh, CD as well. This one goes for about 10 to 15. I thought I'd just grab that for you guys. Um, cool CD, the, the name ABBA obviously gets a lot of search on eBay, so that should go pretty quick. Um, how to win friends and influence people as well from Dale Carnegie. Uh, this is a very, very good book to have a read of if you haven't done so already. And here is the audio copy to maybe have a bit of a listen before you go on to resell it. Um, it's a very good book. And the audio version I'm assuming is just as good. So uh, that was only five bucks, but it does comp and sell for about 20 to 25 on eBay. So I was actually pretty stoked to find that one in there. I might actually, I might actually have a listen before I, uh, before I pass it on to the winner. Um, so that was everything. There was about, uh, well, I don't even know. There was a heap of items in there. Probably one of my biggest op shop hauls from a single op shop. Um, a lot of, I think it was about $100 spent all up. Let's get on to the third op shop. We've gone absolutely bang on the second one, which I'm very much stoked about. Um, fingers crossed the third op shop can be just as good. Let's keep moving.
cool finds in that one, guys. I managed to find the Nikes. They're going to sell very, very well. The Nike Air Max. Uh, these are a size US 8. Uh, not 100% sure if they're men's or women's. I'm going to have a guess and say that they are women's. Uh, the soles on them are very, very good. They only cost me about 8 bucks, but I'll put them in the giveaway. Uh, that was an absolute ripping find. Uh, the next one as well was the Tommy Bahama. This is a double XL men's shirt. It's 100% linen, and Tommy Bahama just goes on to sell very, very well. It's just a check, um, very much a plain essential. But um, whenever you find Tommy Bahama, guys, that goes on to sell pretty quickly, I've come to notice uh, on eBay. I found some Ralph Lauren pants. Um, they're a bit of a hit and miss for me, the Ralph Lauren pants. They don't go on to sell for massive dollars. Um, but when you're getting it in a giveaway, you're going to at least make yourself 20 bucks there without having to fork out anything for it. Um, these are the Preston pant. Um, it's got the little logo there, which kind of helps things. Uh, these are a slightly bigger pair of pants. Uh, the size is a size 42 by 32 length. Um, so, yeah, look, obviously a bigger pant, but I still think Ralph Lauren, always a brand that you want to get your hands on. Um, I love to find the brand Industry. I talk about it on, a lot on this channel, but Industry as well, if I pull that back right there. Keep an eye out for Industry, guys, because I do sell it. These go for about 60 bucks um, retail, and you should be able to make yourself about 25 to 30 uh, putting these up as used. Um, I also found this one as well, which I have actually just gone on to sell very recently. It's the RM Williams Stockyard um, polo shirt, or uh, sorry, button up shirt, uh, short sleeve. So this one here, I actually sold a, a long sleeve for $30 or something, I think, I think recently. Um, as soon as I saw Stockyard, I nicked it. Um, it only cost me, luckily only five bucks, um, but that is a size extra large, a double extra large. So 2XL on that one, um, but that one was a really cool find. The Stockyard, you will be able to make a fair bit of money on that one. So uh, look, a few pairs of jeans there, a short sleeve button up shirt, a really nice Tommy Bahama uh, button up shirt in the linen. Um, that was everything for that one. Oh, and the Nike shoes as well. You'll make a few on the Nike shoes. They're a very nice pair. Um, let's get on to the last op shop of the day. Look, it's been a heavy clothing day, but I really do think that clothes is an easy thing at least to ship out to whoever wins this. So I'm happy to make it a bit of a clothing haul as the prize. Um, so all good there. Um, I, might, I might as well tell you how to enter. Um, I'll do that now before we head off to the last op shop of the day. To enter into this draw to win everything that I'm showing you here today, you need to do three things. And I'm gonna make this a very simple process. The first thing that you need to do is you need to subscribe to the channel. So if you're already subscribed, great news. If you're watching this and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, hit the button. That'll make your first step eligible. The second step that I'll get you to do is like this video. Make sure that you give this video a like. Uh, and then thirdly, I need you to put a comment in this video and you need to just simply say, I'm in the draw. So you can say whatever you like in your comment as you normally would, but just make sure you start it by saying, I'm in the draw. So give it a sub, give it a like, and then comment away and say, I'm in the draw, and you will be in the draw to win all of this. Now, I will do a random number generator and I will pick out by running myself down the list of comments uh, in one week's time who the lucky winner will be. So completely random, I'm just gonna random number generate, work my way down until I find that number. And then whoever that number is in the comments will win the prize. Um, so we'll do that next week in episode 20 of A Trip to the Thrift very next Thursday, seven days time from now. This competition is running from the 3rd until the 10th of December. So today being December 3, finishing on December 10. Um, it will be in my episode on Thursday next week. So that's how we're gonna do it guys. Nice and easy, very easy for you, very easy for me. And a couple of other things I should say as well. Um, I'm gonna do international post. So international post, it's gonna be eligible for anyone. International Post, if you do win, it will be at your expense. So while I will post for free to anyone that wins within Australia, uh, anyone outside of Australia will win everything for free, but you'll just need to pay for the shipping um, if you are the winner. So that's probably the only stipulation there. Um, Aussies, free of charge, and internationals, um, certainly in the draw, feel free to comment, subscribe, and like but you will need to fork out for the shipping. So I think that's pretty fair. Hopefully it won't too, cost too much to ship to wherever you are if you do win it. Um, and anyone in Australia, best of luck to you as well. So that's everything guys with regards to how to enter. Feel free to put a comment below if you've got any questions. 
uh, that I could clarify and pin because I'm happy to do that as well. But hopefully that is as clear as day. Um, let's get on to the last op shop, op shop number four. Fingers crossed we can round it out with a bang and put a few great items in to round out what's been a pretty successful day in the thr uh, thrift. So let's get on to the last op shop and hopefully we can finish with a bang. couple of stocking fillers to end the day there guys there wasn't a heap to pick from in that last op shop unfortunately but i don't think that really matters because we've been able to grab a lot today um a couple of small ones that we can add on to the package we've got the clash london calling i think this one goes for about 15 bucks so i thought i'd grab it, it cost me about three or four not too bad there and i also found rolling stones undercover um the cd so when you see Rolling Stones, obviously any of those big bands, old school bands, they're always worth getting your hands on in the CD. So that was a good one to find, the Rolling Stones. I grabbed him as well. And then at the start, as soon as I walked in, it just caught my eye. I Dream of Genie, the box set, all five seasons here. Uh, I think this goes for about 50 bucks. Uh, I did a quick comp while I was in there. Uh, I ended up paying about $10 for this. So with DVD series, you can always generally get about $50 plus. And sometimes you can get them as cheap as sort of 10 to $20 when you are in the op shop. So stoked to find that one. Actually haven't seen a lot of I Dream of Genie and it was a very popular TV show. So very, very stoked to find that one and be able to pass that one on to you. So that one will pretty much round out the day, guys. Um, I would, yeah, I'd have to do a count up to see exactly how many items were purchased today, but geez, there are a few. And like I said, they will all go into the draw for one lucky viewer to win the entire lot. So you gotta do three things. Uh, subscribe to the channel give this video a like and let me know in the comments um, and just say that you are in the draw so I am in the draw um, and then I from there will in a week's time go and pick the winner through a random number generation uh, and let you know in next week's episode who the winner is so guys I, again I just I'll round it out by just saying I can't thank you enough for the 1,000 subscribers it's an absolute thrill for me I want to just keep making videos keep bringing what I deem to be my best content um, and hopefully that just keeps improving in, in the sense of the quality of the footage that I'm able to bring for you guys. Um, but also, I hope, yeah, hope you guys continue to enjoy it because I love doing it and I'm absolutely stoked to have got a thousand subscribers already. Um, awesome to interact with all of you guys. And this is just a small token of appreciation. So go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, much appreciated, guys. I've really enjoyed this episode today. I've been finding really great items to pass on to you guys and hopefully you can go out and make a heap of money with it. So thanks very much, guys. I'm gonna head home, list all these item up, mark them all down as $0 earned, but all for a good cause. So thanks very much for tuning into this one, guys. I look forward to catching you in the next video. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.